In this video I show you a selection of the most beautiful and successful building reconstructions in North Rhine-Westphalia with lots of details and information. The Erbdrostenhof is a Baroque aristocratic palace in Munster. It was built according to plans by Johann Konrad Schlon for the hereditary Baron of Munster, Adolf Heidenreich Freiherr Drostit zu Vischering, between 1753 and 1757. The three-winged building is remarkable for its highly representative design on a very small footprint. After being destroyed by air raids on Munster during the Second World War, the building was restored by the Landschaftsverband Westfalen Lippe from 1953 to 1970 according to old plans. The reconstructed Baroque banqueting hall in particular is an outstanding spatial creation. Gross St. Martin is one of the 12 large Romanesque churches in Cologne. It is located in the old town and is now closely surrounded by residential and commercial buildings from the 1970s and 1980s. During the British Operation Millennium, the first thousand bomber raid in the history of the war on the night of May 30-31, 1942, the tower and nave roofs were completely burned. The sacristy building on the north apse, which housed many old furnishings, was also destroyed. The basilica was built in the 12th century in the Rhine suburb, a former Rhine island, on the foundations of Roman buildings. Until secularization in 1802, the church was the Abbey Church of the Benedictine Abbey of the same name. The three-nave basilica with its cloverleaf-shaped east choir and square crossing tower with four corner towers is one of the most striking landmarks in the city panorama on the left bank of the Rhine. The tower was reconstructed until 1965. The reconstruction work lasted until 1985. The church was reconsecrated 40 years after the end of the war. Please like and subscribe. The Prinz of Palmarkt is a street in the Westphalian city of Munster. The name means main market, in contrast to Roggenmarkt and Fischmarkt, which follow further down the street. With its layout and buildings, Prinz of Palmarkt documents the historical and architectural development of the economic and political center of Munster. The appearance of the Prinz of Palmarkt buildings is characterized on both sides by rows of gabled houses. The only interruption is Michaelisplatz, the breakthrough to the Cathedral Square. A special feature of Prinzipalmarkt is that no two gables are alike. Some of the architects of the time were inspired by the other gables, but each of them implemented their own ideas and thus gave Prinzipalmarkt its shape. Key design elements of the Prinzipalmarkt are the Baumberg sandstone used for the facade design, which is typical of Munster, and the archway on the first floor of the houses on the east and west sides of the Prinzipalmarkt. The most famous building on Marktstrasse is the historic town hall. It is adjoined by the Stadtwein House and the commercial building at Prinzipalmarkt 5. During the Second World War, most of the buildings on Prinzipalmarkt were completely destroyed, some except for the cellar and first floor arbor. Thanks to the reconstruction that took place between 1947 and 1958, Prinzipalmarkt was able to retain its character as an ensemble in the form of a historic market location. Although many of the buildings were heavily altered compared to their pre-war state, the reconstruction was carried out on the old plots and using the original materials and design elements. Boholt's Historic Town Hall is one of the most important historical buildings and the landmark of the city of Boholt. The town hall is built in the Dutch Renaissance style. Since the city administration moved to the new town hall in 1977, it has mainly had a representative function. On March 22, 1945, the town hall was severely damaged in a major air raid and burned down to the outer walls. After the war, the building was reconstructed as faithfully as possible. The work took seven years, from 1948 to 1955.
Kalkar Town Hall is a late Gothic brick building and was constructed by 1446. The freestanding building with a slate-covered hip roof on the east side of the market square is considered one of the most important medieval buildings on the entire Lower Rhine. At the height of the eaves, battlements and corner guards on Pendenevs rise from a slightly projecting pointed arch frieze. The northern half of the building was almost completely destroyed during the Second World War. The town hall was later rebuilt in the old style. This was based on an altarpiece by Jan Joost, but the room layout was changed. Munster's historic town hall is one of the city's landmarks. Munster's town hall became famous during the negotiations for the Peace of Westphalia in Munster and Osnabrück, which ended the Thirty Years' War in Europe. It is also the birthplace of the modern Netherlands, as the Peace of Munster during the Congress on May 15, 1648 also ended the 80-year Spanish-Dutch War. At the same time as the Netherlands, Switzerland also left the Holy Roman Empire. Until the original building was largely destroyed in the Second World War, it was considered one of the most important secular Gothic monuments and has been ever since its reconstruction. During the air raids on Munster in the Second World War, the town hall was hit by several bombs on October 28, 1944 and burned out completely. When the gable was no longer supported by the roof, it collapsed at around 6.25 pm and, according to eyewitnesses, fell in its entirety onto Prinza Palmark. Only the lower arches and the arcades of the two outer tracery windows remained intact. After the war, it took some time before the funds were available for reconstruction. In addition, much of the rubble had been cleared away during the clearing and rebuilding work and was therefore lost. Any remaining parts of the gable front were finally demolished for the reconstruction. Reconstruction did not begin until 1950, and the foundation stone was laid on July 9th. More than 30,000 people attended the celebrations, including the former Reich Chancellor and honorary citizen of the city of Munster, Heinrich Brüning. Funding was made a matter for all citizens. Everyone was called upon to contribute donations in kind, money or manual labor. The approval of this reconstruction project exceeded all expectations, so that today we can once again experience the beauty of the building. Paderborn's historic town hall is one of the city's landmarks alongside the High Cathedral. It was built between 1613 and 1620. The building demonstrates the principles of the Renaissance in Germany particularly succinctly, clear disposition of the building components, emphasis on the surface, linear, sharply incised windows, which appear as individual elements and are not incorporated into a large overall movement as later in the Baroque period. In the design of the first floor arcades, the Italian models from Florence are even clearly visible. The town hall was almost completely destroyed during the Second World War in 1945 and rebuilt between 1947 and 1958. A special lottery was held in Paderborn to finance the interior work. The completely destroyed staircase was replaced by a three-flight reinforced concrete staircase in 1953. A striking feature of this staircase is the banister with brass-colored medallions, white iron loops and filigree irregular ironwork, which was added in 1954. Wesel's historic town hall was one of the most important historical buildings and the town's landmark. Built in the middle of the 15th century and extended in 1698-1700, the Gothic town hall on the Grocer Markt was destroyed during the Second World War. In 2011, the facade was reconstructed by a community foundation. The main construction period of the town hall was between 1455 and 1500, when two existing buildings were used to build a delicate decorative facade in the late Flemish Gothic style. In 1700, the resulting complex was extended on the left-hand side with turrets and a staircase. The extension to the market was given a flight of steps and a portal. Until the original building was largely destroyed in the Second World War, it was considered one of the most important architectural monuments and one of the most valuable secular buildings of the Gothic period. The Citizens' Initiative Historisches Rathaus Vesely V has been collecting money for the reconstruction of the facade of the late Gothic Town Hall since 2003. From 2010 to 2011, 
the Burgerstiftung Historisches Rathaus Vessel reconstructed the facade of the outstanding building, which was blinded in front of existing buildings. In 2015 to 2017, the missing figures on the Belletage of the facade were reconstructed. The aim is to rebuild the rest of the structure and other buildings on the once important market square. The Theater Aachen was opened in 1825 as a cultural institution for drama and music theater in the city of Aachen. The foundation stone of the building was laid on November 16, 1822 to mark the 25th anniversary of the Prussian King Friedrich Wilhelm III. The original design by Johann Peter Kremer from 1821 was adapted by Karl Friedrich Schinkel, who was working at the Oberbau Deputation in Berlin at the time, to the extent that he enlarged the portico, which Kremer had planned to be somewhat narrower with six columns, to eight columns and thus the entire width of the building. The eight fluted ionic columns are made of Devonian Aachen bluestone. Five steps lead up to the prostylos of the freestanding Temple of the Muses with a flattened apse at the rear. This wing houses, among other things, the organizational, artistic and technical areas such as the administration, the artist rooms, the costume designers and the delivery depot for the decorations for the stage set. The design of the pediment with allegorical figures goes back to an idea by Schinkel, which Johann Baptist Joseph Bastien realized in drawings. A 245 cm wide and 102 cm high model of the pediment was made in the summer of 1824 by the sculptor Wilhelm Joseph Imhoff from Cologne. He worked out the gable relief on the theater from this model within four months from soft marlstone. The tympanum depicts a standing female genius with wings in the middle, flanked on the left by the Muse Melpomene as a symbol of tragedy and on the right by the Muse Talia as a symbol of comedy. Both muses are presented with a wreath of leaves by the genius. On July 4, 1943, the theater building was completely destroyed in a bombing raid, with only the front tympanum and the prostylos remaining intact. After the end of the war, the building was rebuilt by building director Philip Kertz according to old plans by Kremer and ceiling without Schinkel's modifications. The original three-tiered house now had two tiers. Since 1951, two cast stone reliefs by Helmut Schepp have flanked the entrance to the central lodge of the first tier. The Krupp headquarters was the first residence of the Krupp family of industrialists in Essen. During the Second World War, the old headquarters was completely destroyed by bombing in October 1944. In 1961, on the occasion of the company's 150th anniversary, the headquarters, a symbol of future and past, was rebuilt about 100 meters from the original site according to the old plans. If you like my videos, then subscribe to my channel here to see my latest videos. If you want to see another video directly, then click here. Interesting videos can also be found here.